So what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to create a Dropbox. And then when the files get moved into the OneDrive associated with the Dropbox, how we can automatically move them to a SharePoint folder that the whole team has access to. So let's start off the very beginning. OneDrive is the only place you can do this, but you can take a folder, and I'm using this one here, and in the three dots there, I can request files. What that's going to do is create a special page for me. I can give this name something totally different than what I had before as far as the name of the folder goes, but whatever I want to display on the page. When I hit next, it's going to give me a URL, and the URL is going to generate something that looks like this. So there's the, the title that we had in there, the opportunity to add files. So I'm just going to quickly grab a couple of files. I'll just grab this one here and start in a second. It'll load it up. Now, because I'm logged in with my Microsoft account, we can see that my name is there. External people who don't have a Microsoft account would be prompted to put in their first name and their last name. So you have to also remember that that's not being authenticated. So that means I could pretend to be somebody else in submitting these files. So I'm going to go ahead and hit upload. And this process is going to go through. Notice there was a nice um, progress bar there, and then we're done. So let's go over look into OneDrive. So back over here, I'm going to open this up, and I'm just going to do a quick refresh because sometimes the screen needs that. And there's the file that I just uploaded. Now, this is in OneDrive. So OneDrive is my personal space. I want to get this over into SharePoint so that we have uh, access to it to my whole team. I can go, of course, and select this file, and I can use the move command and find my folder and, show, and move it over there. But if it's an automated process, it would be better. Well, there is an automation. The automation is called move file from OneDrive for business to SharePoint and notify me. So if you go into the automation and you can find it through the Apple, uh, the Apple, sorry, application waffle there, um, just find it. You'll come with a screen that looks like this. Not hard. Don't get freaked out by anything you see. But basically, I'm going to start here. It's going to ask me, where's the folder, the Dropbox folder in OneDrive? So I just point to it by clicking on here, navigate to where I'm going to do. Next, where's the, the location? So it's not actually moving. It's actually creating a copy. So that's an important thing to remember that if anytime you use these automations, sometimes you might have comments attached to a file or something like that. They may not move because we are just making a copy. The hist history, the, the, the list of all the comments and stuff like that will not come with that. So here it says create a file. Where are you going to create a file? Basically, again, I would pick the, the, the SharePoint site that I'm working in and then the folder that I want that to be in. Leave this stuff here. It's, it's automatically populated by Microsoft, which is great. Then it's going to delete the file, the original file. I could actually remove this step if I want so that it would have a copy, a backup copy in OneDrive as well as other place, SharePoint. But I'm going to go ahead and continue with that. And then there's a notification. The notification is an application called Notify in Microsoft Teams. And so it's not an email, but I will get a pop-up message saying, hey, someone has submitted something. Now I'll go back here. I've actually got this turned off right now so that you could see it in the folder. I'm going to turn it back on. And then I'm going to go and upload another file. Now, this isn't going to take any of the old stuff. It only acts on stuff when it's turned on. So it doesn't go historical. But just to make it different, I'm going to click on this file here. Go ahead and upload that. And it will do it. We'll quickly pop over to the OneDrive folder. And we hopefully should see it show up there briefly. There it is. So I'll just refresh the screen. But what's going to happen now is the process is going to push this through. And in a second, in this folder here, which is my destination, we will see it appear there. And there we go. Oh, and it looks like it pulled over the old one too. That's kind of cool. So that's pretty much it. And the nice thing is now everything's in SharePoint. Of course, all these files are in Microsoft, which means that they're all backed up.